Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create full screen transparent or full width Bloom opt-in forms. So this is the final result that we are aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. So before we get started make sure that you've installed Bloom and to install it you, all you have to do is to go to elegantthemes.com sign into your account and download the Bloom plugin. So I've gone ahead and uh, downloaded and installed it and it's also activated. Okay and also make sure that you're running uh, Divi. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages click on add new and then I'm just going to call this page Bloom. Click on use the Divi builder use Visual Builder. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to load a predefined layout. So I'm going to come all the way to the bottom here to my expand settings and I'm going to click this plus button. So the predefined layout I'm going to choose here is the About Us. So I'm just going to search for it and you can see here we've got two. We've got About Me and About Us. So all the one that we need is the About Us. So I'm going to select it and uh, now it has loaded all my elements for the page. So pretty much that's what we need as a starting point. So now I'm going to click on publish. Now that we have our page set up, what we're going to do now is to go back to the dashboard and we're going to make some customizations to our Bloom plugin. So I'm going to click here on the dashboard and then I'm going to come over here to Bloom, click on opt-in forms. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by adding a brand new opt-in. So I'm going to click new opt-in. So you can give this name whatever you want. So we're going to start by uh, selecting the pop-up because that's what we need. And let's have, let's just call this Bloom. But you can call this whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to come over here to display settings. So what we need to do here is to activate trigger after time delay okay so make sure that is set to on and then we're going to set this to one second because this actually makes it easier for you while you're designing this you don't have to wait for a lot for a long time for your pop-up to show up okay so now that we have that sent we're going to come over here on display on so we're going to select here on the page so we want this to be displayed on the page and also the post and then if i come all the way down here you can actually specify where you want your pop-up to show. So for now, we created a page called Bloom. So I'm going to select this Bloom page like that. But you can go ahead and customize this to whatever pages you want to be shown. Okay, so with this set, now it's time to set up our pop-up. So I'm going to come over here to design. So we're just going to go with the basic one here. I'm just going to click on this one here. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Click on Next or Customize. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is to set the uh, title color. So I'm going to highlight all my text, click on the text color here, and we're going to set this to white because this is going to be on a transparent background. Okay, so next we're going to make this bold and we are going to center this like that. And by the way, you can use any text you want in here. So I'm just using the default subscribe to our newsletter, but you can change this to whatever you want. Okay, so now with that set, Next, we're going to come over here to the opt-in message and we're just going to pretty much do the same. So I'm going to select my color, in fact, highlight the text first, set the color, make it bold and center it. Okay, now on the image settings. Here we just need to set, uh, set it as no image. For the background color, we are going to clear this so it's clear like that. Now for our header font, we're going to set this to Leto. So I'm just going to scroll down and search for it. So for the body font, same as uh, the header font, I'm going to set this to Leto. Our text color needs to be set as dark. Right, so next on the corner style, we're going to leave this as squared corners. And then for our border orientation, we're going to set this to top and bottom. So for our border color, I'm going to set this to white. And for the border style, we're going to set it to dashed. So I'm going to select this one here. Right, so let's go to the form setup. So for our form, for, uh, for our form orientation, I'm going to set this to form on bottom. And then here we've got our email and our text button text as subscribe. But again, as I mentioned, you can set this to whatever you want. So you could say sign up now or whatever it is. So for now, I'm just going to use the default. Now for the form styling, I prefer to have this stacked. And then rounded corners is fine. And then for our form text color, we're going to set this to light text. Right, so for our form background color, 
I'm going to click in here. So you can see we have a specific color right here. But what we need to do is to clear this because we want this to be transparent. Okay, so I've cleared that by just clicking this button here. And then for our form, uh, for our button color, I'm going to paste my hexadecimal value in here like that. And then for our button text color, I'm going to leave that as light. Okay, so pretty much we are done with our settings. And then here on the bottom, choose form edge style. You can choose different styles here, but uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go with the basic. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And then here we can see that we have options to um, customize our text, our success text, and we can also add our custom CSS. So this is exactly what we're going to do because we want our styling to take over. So I'm going to paste my CSS in here. And by the way, if you'd like to use the CSS code or achieve this design, I will leave a link in the show notes below where you can go ahead and get the CSS code. Okay, so for now, I'm going to click on save and exit. Okay, so now with everything set, let's go to our page and see if this is working. So I'm going to come over here and, and I'm going to refresh my page. There we go. So you can see now we have our opt-in, which has a transparent background. For the next example, we're going to do a few changes to the current opt-in form. So I'm going to come over here to border orientation and set this to no border. Next, we're going to come over here to the form styling and we're going to change our button color to this color here. And if you'd like to use the same color, again, I'm going to save this in the comments box below so you can go ahead and use the same color. So I'm going to paste my color in here. And then finally, for our form text color, I'm going to set this to dark text. Now it's time to add our CSS. So pretty much I'm just going to replace everything that I have in here with our new CSS code. And as I mentioned before, this CSS code is in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to find this entry called a background URL. And this is where we're going to enter our URL to the image that we need to add to the background of our opt-in form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my media library and I'm going to scroll down and uh, select a specific image. So this is the image I'm going to go with and this is the URL. So I'm going to copy this URL like that. Then I'm going to come back over here and paste it like that. And then there's also another entry here at the bottom, which says background URL. I'm going to paste my image in here. Next, I'm going to click on save and exit. And then we're going to do our quick preview. So I'm going to refresh the page. So there you have it. So this is the final design. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.